show you go to you're going to witness different types of planes flying around be it glider dart or acrobatics planes my favorite plane is a glider something that flies gracefully circling slowly to the ground dylan's got a different category that he likes to work in yeah we all know darts are the best the dangerous <laughs> fast flyers the pointy planes the ones that are going to get the most attention when you're flying around uh, all your friends and family i think dylan D dylan's category is like the jock of paper planes how you can just like muscle anything into the air it's really a projectile it's not really a paper plane uh, a glider is a little bit like tai chi it's a bit too graceful and slow <laughs> So there's also acrobatics planes, which are a bit of a, a, a merger of the two. So planes that you can trim and make them perform different acrobatic tricks. And so they're really fun to watch when you, you fold something that's a little bit asymmetrical. You'll find that it has those different performance functions like battle rolls, flips, all sorts. Yeah, and what I really want to know is where are the UFOs? <laughs> so there are paper planes that you can make that do all kinds of interesting Just things. Shut up about the UFOs. <laughs> they won't show me where the UFOs are. <laughs> so we're on an airbase, so we think there's, there's, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Yeah, secret door somewhere. Anyway, the paper planes uh, that we can make that kind of represent the UFO category are interesting looking. They do different things. They might not even look like a paper plane, and those are the really special ones that we like to fold. UFOs really make you think about those differences in flight and how they can be applied, and we love to try and incorporate them into our paper planes. Yeah. Now the best paper plane category, like we said, is the darts, the distance category. So we're going to show you how to make one today. It's called the Jindavit Raptor. And this plane is a really fast, pointy dart. And it's going to show you how to, how to really get a really high speed throw in. This plane is a very fast distance flyer that is designed to have very low surface area, very sleek, sharp lines. And this plane is designed to be thrown very fast. Now when we're folding this plane, you'll notice that there's a lot of work in each of those folds to get all of that paper into such a very small package. All right, now let's get started. Every plane starts with a great fold and for this plane, it's one right down the middle. What that's gonna do is it's gonna set up the bones of our plane and give us a reference point for all the folds that we're gonna make throughout this plane. Next step here is a little bit unconventional, so you need to think about it in the terms of surfaces. So this surface here, this line, this top edge of the page, I want you to fold it all the way diagonally to the side so that it's now running up and down the left side. That's sort of making a large triangle and you've sort of got this big angular uh, crease just here. Now doing the same on the other side by opening out will give you a nice big cross in the middle of your page. Now that cross is really important because it makes our next fold really um, really simple. That cross is going to help us push the middle of our pla uh, page in and the top of that sort of triangle shape down. What that's called is a water bomb fold. And it sort of looks a little bit like that you can see from this, this angle here. Now when that's folded you'll notice that it's starting to make that kind of pointy paper plane shape. What this is going to start doing is helping us to get all that weight and paper into the nose and to give it some weight at the front of the plane. Now that whole edge here, so this part here, we want to get that whole edge and fold it into the center, running up and down the middle of the plane. And just make sure some of those little pieces, they try and escape some of those little, little folds, try and, try and make it difficult for you. So make sure that you're very firm with that fold that you're making. Do the same on the other side and you can start to see this taking the shape of a dart. This is starting to get very, very pointy and very, very dangerous looking. Now this plane is starting to get uh, more difficult to fold as we're folding it. So make sure that when you've got a little bit of time is to press down all of your creases in your folds. The next step is to fold this whole edge into the center of your plane. And this whole edge in as well is starting to make this even more pointy and the wings are becoming thinner and thinner as you go. Now this one here, you want to sort of get to that shape. Fold it in half so you can see all of that sort of accordion of paper down on the bottom. 
and then we're going to do what I think is the hardest fold of this plane. It's giving it the, the wings that we need to make it uh, complete. Now that line that we're going to fold, that crease, is halfway through the middle of that plane there. And so what you're going to do is grab all of that sort of edge of that wing and fold to the very bottom of that plane. It's very hard, particularly when you get to the nose of your plane, and you'll find it quite difficult. You might need to have a few goes at this one. And so I'm almost done, and I'm pressing down as hard as I can to make sure that those folds are nice and crispy and neat. And you'll start to see the plane looking like this. Now, how you hold this plane is the most important part. You need to look into the, into the bottom of your plane and see this kind of middle section here. Use your thumb and your index finger to find kind of like a little bump, which is about halfway along the plane, and you'll start to feel that's a really nice place to hold onto. Also, what it'll allow you to do is to get a nice good grip on the plane for when you throw it at very, very high speeds. Now, I hope you've enjoyed folding the Jindavik Raptor. Now, if you wanted to find more amazing planes, go to airforce.gov.au forward slash 100, where you can find other amazing paper plane folding videos, teachers' resources, and some other cool stuff. So happy flying, and let's see how this guy flies.